You don't have to suffer if you have multiple sclerosis. Can we say that? I don't have to suffer if I have multiple sclerosis. There's steps you can do to improve your quality of life. Step one, eliminate processed food. Processed food consists of high levels of saturated fat and trans fat. And as you know, people with MS don't do good with saturated fat. Okay, now let's talk about trans fat. There's studies out now that's linking trans fat to cancer. And we know cancer is increasing at an alarming rate. What is it, like two out of four people? That's scary. Step two, keep your saturated fat under 15 grams. For me, I keep it under 12 grams because sometimes little things that you might eat, maybe an avocado, which is healthy for you, might increase your saturated fat level. And another high levels of saturated fat is red meat. You know the marble in the meat? So I don't eat no red meat. Okay? I eat fish. And I know they say things about fish being contaminated. But I only eat wild caught fish and cold water fish. And I'll take my chances with that and check it out. I stopped the progression of MS. So I guess I'm doing something right. And you can too. Step three. Take a sufficient amount of cold press flaxseed oil. There are studies out there that states that flaxseed oil reduces relapses even more than some MS medications. See myself daily, I take two tablespoons of flaxseed oils. And on a day that I eat cold water, fish like salmon, mackerel, sardines, I reduce it. So I'll balance it out, maybe a tablespoon of flaxseed oil and whatever the sardines contain or the salmon contain would be the total saturated fat for the day. Okay. Four, drink a green smoothie. Green smoothies are important to your body. It has raw vegetables like green leafy foods and it helps the floral in your gut. Usually I mix green leafy foods with some type of fruit like mango, a little pineapple and banana and strawberry. And I use a good clean water like Fiji or Evermore or Essentia. You understand? So I make sure that my gut gets enough floral and enough enzymes to help my food digest. Okay? Because you know that a lot of people with MS tend to suffer from leaky gut. And you can fix that. But it'll take some time. And by drinking a green smoothie, you help to speed up the process because you're not messing with no fried foods and no greasy foods, so you don't got to worry about that no more. Okay? Next, number five, eliminate gluten out of your diet if you're allergic to it. You see, um, I'm not allergic to gluten, but I know gluten and wheat and stuff like that triggers a lot of allergies. So I stay away from it just to be safe. There's gluten-free pasta, which is delicious. Okay. Gluten-free bread that you can eat. Okay. Without the oils and stuff. Just do your research. Read the labels. Okay. Step number six. Get 
sufficient rest. Rest is so important for people with MS. Because during that time when you're resting, your body has enough time to heal and work on the repairs that's happening throughout the day. And also they have something which you call innovation. So the next day when you wake up, you're operating at an optimum level like a battery. If you don't get enough rest, the next day your battery starts off low. And then so on and so on. You see the, you know, what happens. But if you get rest, you can start at a maximum level. Get it? So remember to do these things. Okay. Number seven, keep your vitamin D level at an optimum level. Okay. I like to keep my um, vitamin D level near 100 nanograms. If the doctor tell you that your vitamin D level is 35 nanograms, start taking vitamin D. They might say, oh, you're on the borderline. Trust me. Get your vitamin D level up because you're more susceptible to relapses again. Okay? Remember that. Number eight. Take your supplements daily, whatever you take. B12, B complex, Essentia. Excuse me, Accentuous, more logic. Okay? You don't have to take loads and loads of supplements because I don't I did used to do that. You see, um but over a period of time from my diet alone and other things I did for our supplements, very minimum, I stopped the progression of MS. Nine, exercise. It's important if you have MS to exercise two to three times a week. Walk if you can. Get on the floor, move around if you can. Do a little Daily, I know sometimes it's a struggle, but over a period of time, you'll start regaining certain functions back in your body, and you'll all of a sudden, you'll see, it. it's amazing, you'll be doing this diet, then all of a sudden, you notice that something you couldn't do before, that you thought you lost, you could do it. You understand? It happens. It's going to freak you out. And you're gonna, no, you're going to be like really, really happy. Um, okay? So stick to the protocol. Number 10. Meditate. Meditation is so important for people with MS and people in general. Meditation reduces stress. And people in general, especially with MS, don't do good with stress. Stress speeds up the disease. So get a control of your stress level and have a quiet time, quiet the mind. If you do these things, and there's no set time, so don't ask me how long it took. It just happens. Just This is a way of life. Don't look at it as a diet. It's a way of life. Just do it. And you'll see over a period of time, if you're consistent, you'll start to feel better. No more brain fog. No more, I'm tired. I used to be like, I'm tired. No longer. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm doing this video for you. I'm up. Do I look tired? And I've been up since 5 a.m. in the morning. But I'm going to get some good night sleep. Trust me. All right? So if you follow those steps, you can improve your quality of life if you have multiple sclerosis. Love y'all. Take care of yourself. 
peace.